hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm so excited to share with you guys how i did this nail set because they turned out so beautiful more than i wish it would be so let's get started so today i'm gonna do this nail set with family beauty method aka lazy girl method and i haven't done this for a while because you know i've been lost with dual form so it's kind of my things now so the first thing i do is to push back my cuticle and the last nail set i kind of prepped my nail a lot so i didn't have a lot of cuticle this time but i still you know do the same thing every single time i'm doing an, a new set so right now i'm using some um cuticle bit to push back the cuticle even more and clean whatever the dead skin right there around the cuticle area this step is really important because this is how your nail gonna last because all the product they won't stay on the skin they only stay on the nail so this step is super important so please um, if you guys aren't a beginner please don't skip this step so I'm gonna do the same thing to the rest of the nail and I love this cuticle bit lately it's been my favorite one and there's another one from Inel Couture I'm gonna link them both down below if you guys are interesting and you haven't find any of um, you know the one that work out for you the cuticle bit this is the one so the next thing I would do I using a sanding band and this is in the medium and I was just doing really gentle removing the shine on my natural nail get ready for the nail set to you know um, for the nail dehydrator so today I use the one for model one but you can also use rubbing alcohol or acetone it would do the job and I'm applying primer here and I apply two coats today I'm using one from Ollie and um, I like to do them two coats just to be safe because I do know that they actually last, help the nail last a little bit longer. And today I'm using the base coat from Burano. And sorry guys, I didn't show um, how it looked like. But this is one of the one that came with their poly gel kit. And this is a 3-in-1. And I use it for a couple times now. And I am falling in love with it. I know it's the fact that the nail lasts so much longer. And I've been wrapped for it since now. So today I'm going to use the 5XL Stiletto Nail from Inel Couture is one through three go kit and this nail is the longest nail I have never have especially stiletto I mean I have their 5xl square before and I love it so I was struggling to find them because they're always out of stock so finally I found it and I bought it so yeah and I just show you guys the glitter I got from Kira Sky absolutely beautiful I will link them down below if you guys are interesting so the first thing I do is just applying some base coat on the nail tip and I'm gonna apply the glitter on the tip of the nail so this nail is the thumbnail and I want it to be ombre and so I would just pattern them on and try to make the glitter a little bit ombre on the tip and then after that I will put them in the light the lamp to cure them like 15 20 seconds so they can cure the glitter stay on the nail so they won't fall all over the place and then I will use a new poly gel applying around the cuticle area to blend them down to make them look more ombre and today I'm using two big glam just in pink and I am um, love 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 this nude it's like a perfect fit with this glitter 
and so today I'm gonna use all of the poly gel from to be glam from the kit take me home and I love all the color that came in that kit and I did a review on this poly gel kit on my other video I will link it down below if you guys are interesting want to check it out and today I didn't show the unboxing because I already unboxed it I just gonna use three poly gel that came with that kit today and um, right now I'm just patting the nail down um, using base coat at a sleep solution so because this nail is so C curl is have a lot of apex so I'm making sure that I spread the pink nude on the side of the nail make sure it cover everything that when I put the nail down it won't you know missing any part of the nail so after I put it on the nail I care for a few seconds and flip the nail around and smooth it out underneath the nail so usually I won't do this step uh, for the rest of the nail but just this thumb because the way that I lay in the glitter it wasn't look at ombre like how I want it to be so I'm just applying a little bit of a base coat and apply a little bit more of the glitter around that area to make it look a little bit more ombre but the rest of the nail is um, all different so I don't do this step usually you know we just do uh, this method we do everything encapsulated underneath the nail not on top but you know for this time I just want to make it look a little bit better so after that I care the nail and apply another thin layer of the base coat on top just to encapsulate the glitter I just applied so when I file the nail they won't file off the nail so right now I'm using pure which is clear poly gel that came the same kit uh, take me home from to be glam to encapsulate the glitter that I apply underneath the nail so making sure they won't have any texture or you know if the glitter will caught on thing or falling off so I just do that real quick and cure the nail upside down so moving on to the next finger and this finger I wanted to do it a French the same thing with the new and the glitter um, it's okay if the line of the French is not super sharp and crisp because with this method it's harder for you to make the line French is real crisp because you cannot file it to make it nice and crisp you just you know shape them out especially with this nail shape 5XL stiletto is really deep apex so it was harder for me to make that French really really crisp but it's not a problem with me because I planning to apply some rhinestone um, you know right there where the French tip is so it doesn't matter if it doesn't crisp so yeah so with this nail because it's French tip so I do the opposite then the ombre nail earlier I do the new part first and I put the nail in the lamp to cure it and then I applying the glitter underneath the nail and cure the same thing encapsulator underneath where's the glitter at and we move on and so let's talk about this clear gel polish I mean the clear gel poly gel sorry the last time when I do the review on it and I know is that when I apply that clear on top of the white paper they do turn out a little bit yellow so I was concerned but it worked completely fine with the clear nail as you can see right here I encapsulated the nail and the glitter still look absolutely beautiful nice and clear nothing yellow about it so I just wanted to let you guys know that it's fine to do on a clear nail but if you are planning to encapsulate like a friend tip nail pink and white then I would not recommend it because that clear might look yellow on white so the middle finger right here I wanted to do them all of that new pink color so it real simple but I gotta say in the whole nail set the middle finger might be my favorite because I'm playing the rhinestone on top of the nude they make the rhinestone look really stand out 
okay so move on to the ring finger I'm gonna do them all glitter so I apply some base coat and instead of placing that I just dip them in the glitter jar make it so much faster that way and I'm gonna encapsulate it with some glitter party gel here I'm applying the glitter party gel on the whole nail and then I place it on my finger and cure them so because it's glitter so it still have some empty space for the light to go through so it still cure the clear gel polish really well and the pinky I do the same thing how the thumb with the ombre glitter and right now I'm applying some top coat is a nun wipe top coat underneath the, all of the nail before I start into filing my nail because the way I did it I flipped the nail over to kind of like clean them out smooth it out so underneath the nail nice and smooth so the nail is kind of smooth so I don't have to file underneath my nail today but it depends on how you place the nail and sometimes they kind of get bulky under there so you should file them off if they are bulky so when it's come to filing it's not really that much I just using some fine cuticle bit to smooth out especially around the cuticle area and then I come back with the cuticle bit to go around one more time to make them even more smooth and flesh in together look it more natural and I'm trying to avoid to do on top of the glitter especially my thumb because I don't want to file off that glitter I apply on top but I file the rest of the nail the same thing just around the cuticle focus and I buffer all the nail right now I'm applying the top coat and they are so beautiful already just the way like this you know if you are a simpler person you can settle right here still look absolutely beautiful but me I'm a little bit extra so I can't help myself I have to you know I have to put something on so I'm gonna go with some rhinestone and because the glitter is kind of like um, a teal and it's a mixture of blue and green so I'm gonna go with some green rhinestone today I know I'm not a big fan of green but this rhinestone is stealing my heart so I'm just applying the top coat and I'm gonna cure the nail in the lamp for 60 seconds um, so today is my first time I'm using this um, rhinestone germ gel but it's the name is a gummy gel so and I'm really excited about it from Ina Couture I'm gonna show you guys right now how it look like after I'm showing you guys this beautiful rhinestone that I have fallen in love with so I got this one from the nail local supply store so sorry guys I don't have the link for it but I will try my best to find something similar to link it up below so this is a gummy jelly that I'm talking about from Enel Couture and this is my first time using it I gotta say so far so good because I already have my nail on for over a week now since the day I did it and there's none of my rhinestone falling off not even the little one so I really really likes it and yeah I recommend it for sure for sure and there's one more thing I love about this gummy jelly is that the texture of it is so just like how the name says gummy like it's really smooth it's easy to apply it doesn't get super sticky like the other brand that I had before so it's really easy to apply on the nail with the brush and when you place the rhinestone down it stays where it is it doesn't move it doesn't moving around at all so I really likes it and the fact that you know so far it's already been over a week and none of my rhinestone falling off so yeah it's good but I will definitely upload it one more time my next video I will let you guys know if any of my rhinestone falling off or they still stay really well you know after two three weeks then it definitely a perfect you know rhinestone gel it probably my favorite from now on just because of the texture of it 
so as you guys see right here I'm just placing them really simple just a line across my finger and then I place some little AB rhinestone you know at the end of each big rhinestone and then the around the cuticle area and I also use some um, the little one caviar B the gold one between each of the little one and the middle finger I didn't show it because I took forever like I'm a slowest person I have to say I'm like a snail so I always taking my time so when it come to placing rhinestone I taking forever hopefully I'm not the only one here all right so this index finger like I told you guys earlier I was planning to have it around the cuticle area and I will wrap around where the French tip at and I place the big diamond one in the middle it make it look like a necklace it looks so cute I gotta say I love the way it plays a rhinestone like that um, you know I haven't done this for a while you know lately I would try to do more like a simple nail set it's more like friendly beginner friendly you know so if you are guy are new with nail then it will make it so much easier for you but then I kind of miss something a little bit more glam a little bit more traumatic so you know I would try to be um, taking turn one symbol one more complicated and you know there's some hand drawing so right here this ring finger I do is just some line work to make it a little bit different than the rest of the nail as you can see they are rhinestone so it will stand out on this glitter nail by using white line so I just want to make it a little bit more stand out and I place a little bit of rhinestone just to make it you know a little bit stand out I mean it's a ring finger so it had to be a little bit more different yeah so I just do like you know the line not too you know not too complicated pretty simple just the X and then you know another V inside just random I mean um, I will show you guys a picture of my inspiration of this nail set you got with shop you got with shop that where I get the inspiration from <laughs> so I just played really simple one rhinestone right there on the top and one on the bottom and then around the cuticle and yeah we got it set you know is I haven't done this nail uh, Femi beauty, beauty method for a while I missed it you know it's actually make the nail set is really simple I mean it's not way too complicated it make it so much faster when you sculpt it a super long nail so if you a guy are new and never try this method out definitely try it out you will love it especially if you like long nail then it actually make your life so much easier to make a long nail set and because it's poly gel so it definitely really really strong and it would never break this is never break on me yeah definitely okay so after i done all the nail i'm just applying some cuticle oil right here lately i love this one from inel couture it smells so good and here it is we are done done so let me know if you guy like this nail here it is and to be honest it's a little bit too long for me um even i have the 5 xl square before but somehow i feel this still a little a little bit extra so i oh here it is this is the inspiration of my nail set this is my daughter drawing it's a peacock but it looks like a turkey <laughs> okay so i hope you guys enjoy the video thank you so much for being here and watching my video if you guys likes it please give it a like and subscribe to my channel and i will catch you guys in the next video bye